welcome to Meditation Monday, everybody. It's your host, Trill, or Dave, Trill Dave, who my mom called me. And it's another Meditation Monday, number 60. Consistency is the key. And when you remain into a flow of thought that is of meditation, that is of stillness, and is of concentration, and is of flow, things are more in the flow more with the goal and better understanding and grounding whenever things are more crazy or thrown off. So I simply want you to slow the thoughts down. Take deep breaths through the nose, out the nose. And relax. Chill. Live. Immerse yourself in your chair, keeping your spine tall. Whether you're laying down in Savasana as I am in the video, or in a chair, or in your car, just make sure your spine is straight, shoulders are relaxed, control of the breath. Control of the thoughts. Deep breaths. Now I want you to bring your focus on the on the many meditations that we've been doing, and if you haven't, you can quickly sketch one for yourself but continue to impress the vision by consistently doing the visualization making your own movie mind movie movie (laughs) but um in doing so come to your mind movie and know that whatever is in the frame of this movie like it's in a rectangle just like in the movie Nothing outside of this frame can taint it, but our focus is only within it. The picture is big and things are detailed, but everything is crystal clear, like 4K, 120 or 160, or just a 60 on a camera, 4K, 60 or whatever. Getting the picture clear, detailed, with nothing missing. And as you relax more and connect the breath with the body and this relaxation, the vision can become more detailed, more vivid in your other senses, in your smell even, your taste. Taste as far as physical taste as what you're eating and you're drinking, as well as your taste in the things that you like and don't like. Things might change. You might level up some things, you might share some things. And then your vision, spiritually blind, spiritually awake in thought, or visually, literally getting your vision straight. Your hearing, clear audience, what you hear as far as the channeling you get from meditating. Like I tell people, meditation and prayer, both are important. Prayer is talking to source. Meditation is source talking to you or releasing yourself of your anxieties and stresses to become calm, to be able to receive the channeling from source. We should channel channel the source more. So as we ease, the vision will be able to become more clear and more vivid within our thought and imagination. Simmer on that. Deep breath.
we settle into the vision and keeping our mind and our will strong, but in a flowing sense of power and not force, staying within and holding the vision within, but staying relaxed, being able to receive it in the most effortless and easiest way possible, expeditiously, exponentially, expansively past our thought even and our feeling of what it could possibly be. But as we relax, easier to receive, but keeping the will of thought on the vision and our attention and our intention clear, anything is possible. Deep breaths. Again, relax the body. See yourself as vivid as possible within the scene, as well as directing. But while in the scene, I'm mostly worried about the, the being that we truly are, the observer of the mind and in the mind and in the being that is of the source and of the being, the spark. Knowing that that power is what we truly praise and honor and appreciate and love. Knowing that that, when we keep our will attached and our faith and our attention and intention on the vision of what we so desire, want to need, or that what we would like to be, or that we would like to have and to have and be for others in the perfect way possible. Nothing strenuous or strange. Able to relax and feel more intensely in a calm manner and just be deep breath. calmness and control of breath yields the scene to us more so in every moment and that yields the observer that is within and our connectedness of being awakened to the source of what we are more and more profound but a good book that people love to read I love to read it but I read it differently between the lines God gave his breath to man and it shall be and Adam was alive paraphrasing facts though but source gave his breath and his breath to the thought of what is coming to be about man manifest. So see yourself as the middle of your universe. You are the source. You know you're a part of a bigger source than like the sun. You have a thought in mind. But you hold it in the thought in a flowing way. Side, left hand to the ground. Now for the meditation. 
push yourself up, crossing the leg, attention back to the middle of the core to the middle of the body. Continue to hands are out to the center, the chin is at the horizon. Keep your spine straight as much as possible. Chin at the horizon. Inhale. Good feelings and emotions. Exhale, drop the right ear to the shoulder. Visualization. Tap into. Gently drop the chin to the chest, rotate around. Feel a part of your life and being. possible consciously Relax throughout your day. Inhale up. Exhale to the left. Or give the relaxation of the body, of the brain, and in our work. Drop the chin to chest, rotate around slow. Work in a garden, a teacher, a lawyer, an accountant. Right here to right shoulder, a chef, the back. Fitness owner of a sort. We work in the city. Control the breath. Relax the neck and shoulder. Control the thought. Sit up tall, support true. Thank you all for having me this evening. Have a great rest of your day.